Mother of the Revolution really came as like a starting point from being told the story of Betty Beecroft. And as a woman from down the road from where she was born and brought up and lived, I felt robbed of a role model in my life and not being told her story. And it just kind of got me reflecting on whose stories get told and especially stories about working class people and working class women in particular are very, very rare to be told on stage or in museums or anywhere. Betty Beecroft was a woman who was born in the 1740s, who was an amazing Yorkshire woman who just with a little bit of education had this kind of self-belief that she could make something of herself. And so coming from a rural farming community, had no clue about industry and was right at the start of it. And from what we know, potentially started one of the first sites of the Industrial Revolution in when she thought that Kirkstall Forge was a good enterprise to take over. And even though she couldn't buy the forge herself because she was a woman, she convinced her husband and her brother-in-law to come into business with her. And then she ran the business for the first six years and made it into a huge success. And that forge site stayed within her family for 200 years after her. So she really started something unbelievable for the community. This story is fundamentally about people who stories aren't told and people who sometimes feel pushed aside or sometimes feel isolated. And in making that work that really is embracing people, no matter where they come from or their backgrounds or experiences, we need to make sure that the show does that as well. It's brilliant that people have a voice in the forms of all these different characters and can let people know that they're not alone in that way of feeling and hopefully it will send a message to future generations. I hadn't actually known the story before. I didn't know who Betty Beecroft was, so I feel like I've learned quite a lot. It's good to find creative ways to engage with community. So we have a beautiful community choir who have kind of come on the journey with us and that's really what we want for next year when we hope to make the full show, is to make this not only a show that's filled with professional actors and performers and musicians, but people from the local community who want to share this story with everyone who comes to see it. So a huge fun show is to have audio description integrated into them and sign language integrated into them that really shows that the show is really trying to communicate with the society that's trying to represent on the stage. We've had quite a few conversations about theatre and how it can integrate access and I think that it's definitely changing. We're moving from a model of having access as like a hidden thing and we're moving to a place where we're working with disabled actors, we're working with deaf actors and we're integrating all the ways to tell the story. We have a platform and we need to tell the stories that have been removed from our history so it feels very exciting to bring her back and hopefully do her justice and give her her words back. <laughs>